we view Tickhill as a non-core asset for us. We are definitely we are definitely concentrating on the heavy minerals and the silica, and uh, uh, so we were able to vend in the project into what's now called Carnaby Resources. We did that for a share swap in that company, um, and those shares uh, we got over four million shares. We're, we're a major shareholder now in Carnaby Resources. And they're a, they're a gold-focused company. They're purely focused on gold and, and copper. And uh, they're an extraordinarily experienced uh, uh, exploration team and capital markets team. And we felt they could get better value from that asset than us. And indeed, that's proved correct because the value of those shares that we were issued has doubled in price uh, only in, within three or four months. Um, Carnaby have a very uh, aggressive and focused exploration program they plan to undertake on Tick Hill and uh, their technical team are extremely well credentialed and we, we can see a lot of upside. Uh, although we divested the asset, we're also riding the upside on their activity and in the gold space generally. So as a major shareholder now in Carnaby, um, we, we, we uh, felt very comfortable in, in undertaking that transaction with them. And will you be taking any active role no, we're, we're, we're a shareholder at no, no. just over 7%, 7 and uh, we wish them well and, and we give them whatever support they need. Uh, uh, they know what they're doing and, and they're getting on with it uh, as we speak.